Okay. Um, so I'm really excited about this exhibition because uh, it's a way for me to acknowledge my mom's contributions to my artistic work and my life, you know, and our mom is deep in uh, an Alzheimer's journey. Uh, our family, um, her sibling group, our grandma, uh, generations before that uh, also um, lived with Alzheimer's and our family in particular has something that's called familial Alzheimer's. So our family tree, this uh, uh, thing called Alzheimer's follow, falls down the family tree. Yeah. And in the exhibition, there's 20 artwork from uh, significant artwork. Well, it's artwork that I find significant, you know, that I learned from, that I continue to learn from, um, uh, from the past 20 years, 22 years. <laughs> and uh, um, I wanted to show this and I wanted to make this uh, to, as I said, to acknowledge our mom and our her contributions to me, to my artistic thinking, my artistic development. She also told me when I was a kid that she used to paint and uh, she was interested in these things. She was always interested in what I was doing. I always included her, like I talked about the artwork, talked about what I was making. Was it appropriate? Is it appropriate? Is it culturally appropriate? Um, is it silly? And she would always tell me the truth. Uh, which is great, um, even when she didn't want to, <laughs> right? Um, and, you know, I also want to say that this isn't just about me, right? I'm, I'm just one person in the circle that stands around her uh, that, have, that has been significantly helped by her, actually. Um, th this is just one example of how her skill and her strength affected a life way uh, one, you know? Um, and even in her Alzheimer's, like I don't, I don't wanna give that word so much power, you know? Uh, she's not diminished, I refuse to see her as a diminished person. She continues to teach me. I became a time traveler in my performance art practice so that I could understand what she was going through. Um, and it, it mattered that I could see her in this way. And through the art, I was able to see her better, you know, um, and still learn, right? Uh, she also um, uh, inspires me. Uh, in the art school at Emily Carr, I, I was trained as a lithographer, um, a stone lithographer. And um, it's a beautiful art form. Uh, it's very European. It's very, that's an interesting part of it, right? Uh, but in front of you were these stones, you know. The stones for me were always very indigenous. And I understood the stone more than I understood the history of the art form kind of thing. But so what you have in this exhibition are uh, some of those earlier works. Uh, from art school days, actually. Here we have a portrait of my mother holding our brother, Robert. So in our family, in our sibling group, there's four. And I wanted to do this work um, all those years ago, and I, st I remember this because it's, in, you know, it's kind of like wonderful. Uh, it was the look on her face. You know, and how proud she was and is of her family, you know. But as a new mom, um, as a new mom, just the, her eyes were so bright in the original photograph, you know. Uh, and this is a, of course, it's a, lithograph a lithographic print, and um, it's actually a, a monoprint. Uh, so there are five or six different versions of this um, and I gave them to my sisters and brother uh, yeah yeah um, okay I think it's important to say uh, so 
This is a, this a, this is her uh, name in the language Edzuza, 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 and uh, she was gifted this name by uh, Grandma Emma Brown. Uh, and I grew up here in Smithers until the age of 16. And Grandma Emma Brown actually lived in the Bulkley Lodge. And Mom used to take me and you know the other siblings here over to see Grandma Emma. Um, and she, Grandma Emma was living with Grandpa Benny over there. And um, it's funny what circles do, right? Because now our mom lives full time uh, in the dementia care unit. Uh, at the Balkley Lodge. And if I was gonna put, uh, uh, a translation is a very funny thing actually, right? Cause I don't want the English language to cover over the Taltan language or Taltan meaning, right? Uh, so if I was going to use uh, English words, um, mom would say that it means, this word means a little pet, you know? And uh, at the age of 45 now, I think I understand her name a little bit more because um, you're gifted these names and they're, they have to guide you into your life, right? And so I, I understand this word now as a helper. Yeah. Um, and it is absolutely a, a evident of how, who she was as a child, as a young person. She went from elder's house to elder's house in, the, in our home community of Telegraph Creek to make sure they were okay. You know, she would cook for them, she'd clean for them. This was also something her mother, uh, Grandma Dinah, um, uh, would make sure she did, you know. Um, and it's so awesome to be able to have this on the wall. Um,